What is up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Super Princess Peach. I am my six times. In the last episode, we took on 6-2 of Gleam Glacier. And in this episode, we are going to continue on with 6-3. So before we start this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Helps out the channel and the series so much, and I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's jump right back in and take on another a very amazing cold level because these levels are very, very cold, if you do say so myself. So, guys, today is basically a nice, really, really warm Thursday in Missouri. And guess what, guys? I am back from PAX. It's been a very long time since I last recorded this game. And basically, I'm back forever now. Yay. Until, like, the next convention or until I move from here. Yay. <laughs> and uh, it was a really fun time. I do say so myself. Uh, the convention wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, like, in the past. But I did get to hang out with all my friends from the pack and everybody else that I've met during that time, which is really fun. Uh, so over this way, we can get this random little uh, fire bolt that we can use. And basically, we can climb over this way and then slide all the way down. And we can get some coinages. Coinages are very fun, guys. Don't you worry one bit. But before we continue on with this little door thing, we're going to move over this way and try to see if we can find a toad. I'm not too sure if we can find it or not, but there's snowman everywhere! Snowman's land, please don't kill me! That'll be a bad time, girl, please stop shooting your icicles at me! That wouldn't be good at all, come on there, bro. Ooh, okay, so there's a snowman up there, also a key door. So I'm pretty certain that we have to go backwards to the other door, or we, we won't be able to get one of the toads, which, you know, will stink because that toad will be locked up there forever inside of a box. He'll basically uh, go insane because he can't breathe or eat food at all. So I'm going to go through this door and check it out before we slide even further out of our minds. Uh, what's over this way? Hello. Is anybody here right now? I need to talk to you really quick. Gilly. Um, hey, everybody. Let us go down. We can go to this little uh, <gasps> snowman. We're going to kill everybody's snowman, man. And we can move over this way and we can get this next little toad, which is the first one, guys. Look at that guy. He is so happy to see us right quick. You know what I'm saying? He is so dosh gosh darn happy. And we did it. Awesome. So, it's more of these little uh, coinages. And we did it. So, we, need, we can either go up this little uh, pipe or we can go inside this door. So, I'm going to go through the pipe first because it looks like the most uh, easiest way to get and travel to places. Once we do this, we can go into a new area. Which has a lot of these crying Goombas. I'm sorry, bro, but you are gonna cry forever, boy. Watch out. Climb down this little staircase again and see what's over this way. Hmm. Is there anybody over here? Well, there is, but there's also some random things that we can't get past. So let's use our nice little crying ability again to make some little ice. Ooh, ice for days, everybody. Very good. Now we can watch out for this guy. Please don't die. Wait, what? Kill him. No, climb up. Boy, what the frick are you doing, man? All right. All right, uh, jump. Whoa. Jump off. Jump off. Frick. Uh, well, I guess you can't. Okay, climb up. No, we can't even do that, really. Well, then, uh, this is really stinky, man. All right, let's go, like, come on and try to break it, please. Bro no, we can't even break it, guys. That stinks. All right, well, I guess we have to go the other way. It really stinks, though, man. Like, I was really looking forward to getting that random toad inside of that little uh, treasure chest that we were, we were about to find. Apparently, it's a bad idea to do that, so so let's go through this little door here. And we can check out new places, which is going to be this little random door. Uh, Stonehenge door we can get through. And there's a toad over this way as well. Okay, so how do we get over there? We need to find a way. Oh, we can just go like this. Haha, -ha, baby, we did it. That's what I'm talking about. We did it. Very nice, very good girl. Can you please move there, Mr. Uh, uh, little Turtle Man? And we saved the second toad of the amazing race. Very, very good. And we can jump across again and go down to another pipe that we need to get through, baby. Oh, no. The icicles are very, very sketchy today, guys. That's not good. But there is something that we can go over this way, which is a nice little uh, platform that we can climb across. Okay. Anything else over here? Uh, no, though. So I guess we have to move on and go through this door here. Which is, I'm not complaining about it at all, because we are now in this random uh, topsy-turvy move-around stage. We have to get past all these little bullet bills, and they're going to try to kill us. So, how the frick do they do this, man? They're just, like, throwing these bullet bills everywhere, and it makes no sense whatsoever. But, apparently for these guys, it does. They're just like, you know what, man? I'll just make 55,000 of them, and just shoot them at freaking Peach and Mario, and that'll be great. 
Oh, what the frick? Seriously, that was like a like a steal from behind, man. Like I was just trying to do my daily activities. You hit me right in the back. You freaking jerk face. How dare you do that to me, man? That's not good. All right, anything over here? Ah, uh, no, there's not. All right then, that's great. Very, very good. Very, very good. Watch out again. Is there anything over this way? No, there's not. But there is a door with some coins. Ooh, coinage is, baby. Very, very nice. And now we can get this amazing puzzle piece, which unlocks the Puzzle C piece 10. So, uh, thank you very much for that, man. I'll look into that later once I figure out how to properly use, uh, freaking dial on my uh, TV screen to make the puzzle pieces appear for some reason. That'll be weird, man. All right, uh, we're gonna go backwards a little bit to see if there's anything around here. I need to check it out real quick before we move on because we kind of messed up. Um, we're gonna try to find this third toad. Because, you know, we can see the exit screen, but you know, screw it, man. We can't even... Uh, it's way too far in advance to do that, so let's just fall all the way down. We can kill all these guys like so, and then jump... Oh! Really, girl? Really, girl? You just killed yourself. That wasn't good at all, baby. All right, there we go. And then let's do this little jump. Oh, dang, girl. That was great. We got some 30 coins as well. Peach is going ham today, isn't she? Yeah, girlfriend, you're very good. All right, so guys, let's take on 6-4 now, which is another number level. <laughs> I like how this game doesn't number their things. Like, you would think that in most Mario games would be like, hey, this is 6-4, uh, Gleam Glacier, 74 million bajillion. And they're like, all right, man, this is going to be the best level that we can possibly ever do. But I guess that's not the case for this one. And apparently this snow is pink. So I, apparently Peach peed somewhere. So um, that's great. There is a puzzle piece down here, so let's get that real quick before, before we move on. Oh, frick, dude. Seriously, I didn't see those spikes right there. You know what I'm saying? And they got the freaking uh, puzzle piece C, piece 11, which will unlock something very spectacular that I have no idea what is about. But whatever, man. Whatever floats their boat, yo. The boat, yo. On um, boat, yo, yes. Uh, and we can go through the first door. If Peach can look up properly. Hey, Peach, can you look inside the door to go through it? Thank you, girl very kind and now that we're inside of the cavern again the freaking snow turns a nice shade of blue again which is really weird and then there is a little platform we can ride up for some reason oh great riding up cowboy baby they have a good um let's run over here we'll climb up this way and what can we get we can get another bridge to terabithia and it'll unlock a new area, which will be where the toad is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's this guy here, which we, which we could probably just melt. Very good. And then we can make our way through here and get the first toad. Right? Ah! Goodly done there, girl. You're very good today. And then we're going to get stabbed by the spikes. I knew it. I knew it, baby. You can't stop me. I knew this was going to happen to you. Let me do this, man. Okay, so now that we're through here, then we have some more crying Goombas, so... Sorry about that, man, but you're dead. All right, uh, so there is some more people here. What is up this way? I'm kind of confused. There is a random platform over this way, but it's not useful at all. It's just some random corridor that leads to nothing, which really stinks not nice. So there is a little thing there. So for some of these um, coins, we can probably ground pound to get. Very good. We got them. And now we can move on to the next part of this area, which will be this place over here. And we can't get through here for some reason, because that's how this game works. We'll be like, yo, you can't go through this little warp pipe right quick, because that's not how it works at all, baby. It's not how it works at all. And now we have another slow-moving stage. Freaking fantastic, man. I love that crap so much. It's like, hey, do you want to waste your time walking around this little turnpike forever, even though that most of the entire game is just walking as fast as possible to get to the end of the level? Well, you know what? Too bad, man. You're going to go into the slow, freaking moving part of the level. That doesn't make any sense. You know what? I love that kind of stuff, though, man. Freaking hammer, bro, trying to kick my butt. You can't freaking sneak attack me. I am Sneak himself, baby. Come on. Get out of my face. You're dead. You are totally dead from me, girl. You are totally, scru totally screwed. Got some coinages, baby. I love coinages. Coinages, baby. What's up here? Is there anybody up here? Do you want to say hi to me? Probably not. Oh, well, I am sorry that I uh, interrupted your sleeping pattern, but... Screw you, man. Yo, totally sucking ducks today. Oh, frick. That was a close one, guys. We almost died from that stuff. So I guess we're just like a snowman murderer, man. You know, we're on the run for like the past like 40 years now. Peach is like 65 years old at this point. 
And now, since she has no idea where her parents are, she will never be able to find them again because they're totally dead. Because Bowser killed them for some reason. And this is the beginning of the level, so I'm going to go back down this way. And we can move on again. Yeah, we can get collect some more of this little uh, stamina bit. And we move on, baby. Yes, we're good. We, oh, real. Oh, my God, really? Dude, we went through this crap again. Seriously, I have no idea how to beat this. Let me break it, baby. I need to break it. Can I break it? No, I can't break it. Well, then, this stinks. Well, then, I guess we're stuck here forever, everybody. Dang it. Hmm. Okay. So, I guess we just have to move on this way, which makes sense, because now that we have a one-stop shop for failure, we can move across again. Hey guys, welcome back to the One Stop Shop of Failure. I am your boy, I sneak sometimes where we fail every day of our lives. That's the greatest punchline ever. If you want to fail, call me up at 133 million bajillion and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next phone call. Uh, hello, uh, uh, TJ, uh, this is, uh, your superior, uh, I wanted to talk to you about your, uh, um, relatives, uh, they basically told me that you're a jerk, um, so whenever you get this message, please call me back at, uh, 188555, you're dumb, um, and we'll get back to you as soon as you call us back, so, uh, once again, 188 I don't know what the number is again, I forgot, my bad. And I will see you when you call me back. See you later. Bye bye. Um, okay, who's the, who the frick says bye bye anymore? And who actually leaves freaking notes on the for, on the freaking like voicemail and stuff? Like, I don't. Well, screw that, jazz, man. I don't care. I'll just, I'll, I'll just send the guy like a text message, be like, yo, pick up your phone, girl, please, call me back. <laughs> and they're like, okay, man, I'm gonna call you right quick. That doesn't work at all. So what's up here? Hello, it's a toad, everybody. We got the toad without even looking, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We did it very nice and we did it very good. And we saved the second toad of the level. Or the third toad, depending on what thing we do. And we unlock the staircase to heaven. Fantastic, man. And we died. Dang, girl. It's not good, baby. Please jump up. I need you right now. Thanks you very much. And we can move across this way and get what are we gonna get? We got some amazing coins. I love coins in my mouth, baby. Very, very good. All right, so now we're down this way. We can climb up this area over here and get some platforms. Yay, we did it. And we can run across these places again. And we unlocked. Another part of this area, which is going to be killing the bombs. Killing the bomb and the bomb 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 bombs. With all of our might. We got like the highest score on Kill Bomber 94. And that was a great game, man. You know, just killing bombs for the rest of your life. That's like Bomberman or something, but you're actually a bomb as well. Hello, bomb boy. What's this? Did you know somewhere at the Vibe Island, a very odd enemy? No freaking way, dude. How the frick did I know that, man? Thanks very much for the information that you gave me right now, man. I was so freaking confused about that, but thank you so freaking much. What the heck? Well, I guess that leads to nothing. All right. Well, uh, screw you, bro. You're done today. You are done for me. You will never be my friend ever again. Or something like that. I mean, at the freaking turn up. Are you kidding me? One amazing coin. That is great. Thanks, man. You're very kind today. And now let's move on again to 6-5. Ooh. What's in this amazing area? Let's find out today. All right. So here we go. We are moving across with all the snowy platforms where all these Goombas are crying. And I'm sorry about that, bro. Oh, Frank. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't mean for you to die like that. But now we can float our way to victory. Well, without this Goomba Koopa trying to kill us today. You know what I'm saying? It's Goomba Koopa, baby. He is a sucky, sucky monster today, baby. Let's come up like so. And what can we get? Let's find out. Hello, is anybody up here? I don't know. All right, go like so. And then, but then, then, frick. Well, I guess that leads to nothing. It's just some coins or something like that. Well, screw you there, bro. Ski, you are totally done, Ski. Who says Dunsky? What the frick, man? Dunsky, boys! Yeah! Oh my freaking lord, seriously! Hey guys, welcome back to Underwater Levels with your boy, I see sometimes. I am your I just said that. You know, commentary is weird sometimes, you know? Like, you're like, hey guys, welcome back. And like, you're just, like, not even focused on what you're saying. And it's just, like, junky. 
and stuff. But then other times you're like, ha, ah, that was the funniest joke I've ever said in my entire life. And then it comes out great. And then your commentary doesn't record, which is also amazing. Freaking jerk face Oompa Loompa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy doesn't even look, look like an Oompa Loompa. Why? Okay. Well, I guess we killed this little uh, guy here. Uh, he's not going to fish around with us anymore, is he? Ew, that was a great freaking comedy joke, TJ. Oh, God. Why do I do this to myself, man? This is crap. Why does every freaking submarine level I just yell at the top of my freaking lungs? I don't understand it, man. Maybe it makes it more entertaining or something, or probably not. Like, most of the time, it doesn't actually make it more entertaining because... It's like, oh, look, it's another freaking guy yelling at the screen for some reason. Well, you know what, man? Screw you, because you know what? I yell at the screen half the time. You know what? That's what I do, baby. Don't you dare. What's down here? Ooh, it's a nice little war pipe for us to take to victory, baby. What is this going to do for us? Ooh, it's a nice little, like, a little jump pad or something. Mmm. Jump into victory, baby. They were good. And we got this amazing thing with this little, uh, shield guy going to die today. And we can unlock this little dude. Oh, there's not, probably like a secret here. Let's check it out. No, there's not. Apparently, that was like a lie. Freaking lying to me, man. How dare you, game? That, what? Really? No, I need to kill these guys to get my puzzle piece. Yeah, buddy. Die, boy. You're done. Die, boys. And we unlock the sixth piece of the puzzle of C block. Very good. And we can move on with our lives again, because who the frick would want to be in there for the rest of our lives? I do not want to take the real tea on that crap, man. That stinks. All right, there we go. And then we can come up these little uh, switches. We can lock more things like so, baby. I feel good. Very nice. Now, since we can go down this pipe, there should be something new and improved for us now. Oh, look, <gasps> guys, who would have guessed that? We have another freaking scrolly rolly. On our on on our hands today, man. You know what? I was just missing this kind of uh, gameplay right now. Like, you would think after like the first like three levels of doing this, they would figure out, hey, we should probably take a tur the turn off from this for some reason for just a little bit. But apparently not. They stink on ice, bro. Oh, there we go. I guess, and we can lock this little guy here, which will lead us to an amazing and cool guy. Like so, some bro was dead, baby. Die, boy. You're done. You're done, ski, baby. Oh my god, seriously, TJ? Dunsky again? Who the frick says that? Nobody in their right mind in the 17th century Fox would ever say that, Jazz. God. All right, come on there, Mr. Uh, Icicle, fall down. Yeah, we did it, boy. Oh, frick, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean for that to happen, no. Well, that was stupid as crap. Well, let's wait for the uh, blocks to come over this way so we won't die for some reason because the freaking screen won't go fast enough for me to jump. And then we can move around a little bit more. Let's don't, not fall down. Very good. He's dead. He is dead for real. We can use our umbrella to kill the entire world. What's over this way, though? I want to check it out. Is it like a toad or something? We need something like that. To, whoa, to fix our uh, enthusiasm and our freaking motivation to kill the world. Or something or other. Alright. Oh, God. They almost kill us, guys. We are not going to die today because we are the best people in the world to dodge icicles. Alrighty, then. So, we made it all the way over to the door. So, what do we do when we go through a door? We go through it. That's great. There is a warp pipe here that we can take, but I'm not going to because that's kind of dumb, if you ask me. And there's also some uh, little platforms here that we can use. I'm going to use our nice little friend like so and run over as fast as possible to get the toad. The first toad on the level that we found. And that's great. Very nice there, man. And let's finish this off by going up the hill and down the street to our grandma's house for some reason. That should be how the, this freaking song goes. Up the street, down the road to grandmother's house for some reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to make a time machine to do that right quick. You know what I'm saying? Holy freaking Lord, it's a giant freaking seal. Woo! Yeah, sealy wheelie, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We did it very nice, very good. What's over here? Oh, hello, Mr. Man. Oh, frick, I'm sorry. Die, please. Okay, is he done? Oh, <gasps> yay, we did it, everybody. Everyone clap your hands for Pete. She's the best chick in the world, baby. Very good. And that guy is done for, baby. Our toad friend is saved. He is saved from salvation. And we can go over this way, go right inside of this place, and get a nice little star. 
Ooh, the stars are powerful with this one, baby. We did it. Now let's move on to the boss of this Gleam Glacier, 6-6. -6. I wonder what stupid minigame we have to play today. <laughs> let's check it out, baby. Hopefully it's not one of those amazing things again. Break the blocks with the stylus. Are you freaking kidding me? Seriously? Well, I'm going to move my microphone so I can actually see the bottom screen with my stylus. Let's play this now. So I'm just going to swipe like we did last time because this is basically the... Well, I can't do that. No. It, okay. So this one's just like the one with the booze, but we do have to basically um, tap as fast as possible. And if we don't, the peach will die. So keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. These sm the freaking bigger ones take about like six or seven of them. And then this, the other smaller ones take about three. And then these over here take a few more. Oh, come on, please. Don't you die. Oh, God. My freaking hand already. We did it. That was great, guys. We did it. All right, so let's move down again and see how we can defeat this guy. Up ahead is the boss of this place, a dragon. It's encased in hard ice, so normal attacks won't work. What works against ice? Um, water, right? I, I, dude, I just love to drink water. It's like the best thing to do in your entire life, man. It keeps you alive, it keeps you hydrated, and it keeps you thirsty, baby. What is that toad gonna do for us today? Please help me out, toad, please. Oh no, it's the icicle dragon. He's gonna kill us. Oh god, I'm sorry, Mr. Icicle Dragon, dragon boy. And here he is, guys. We have to kill this guy with our ice cube attack attack. Becomes, baby, good. Come on. And he's done. Kill him. Oh, that was it? What the frick? Alright. Alright, well, I guess we have to wait for him to come around. I go like so. Oh, frick. Ow, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. Dang it! Oh, God! Get out of your Icy Cube attack! Please, I don't want you to die! Oh, God! I'm sorry. Like so, and then we can come over this way, and then go like that. Right. Oh, God. Run! Oh, frick. Come on. Run over this way, and then hit him. Hit. What? Where, what? Hit him. Well, why aren't you doing this? Well, what the frick, man? Well, I guess we have to wait for him a little bit. There we go. One more hit to go. And what the... And we did it. Yay! Two more... Well, three more things to go. This is very awkward because we have no, I have no... I have no idea how to kill this guy, apparently. So he's going to throw his ice cool a beam at us. But it doesn't work at all, baby. Have a good. Let's kill him once. What the frick? Seriously, it doesn't work. Very good. All right, there we go. That does a little bit of damage to us, but no worries whatsoever because he can just not do anything anymore. All right, come on, up, climb up. Very good. Is there any of our friends here? We need some more things. Oh, frick. No, get out of here. Get out. Hurry, 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 hurry. Good. Come on. Oh, God. It's fine. Don't worry. Uh, we need some more of our mana, please. I need more mana, man. Just please help me out with this, bro. Oh, yeah, they're here. Yay, we finally got them, guys. Jump up. Very good. No, please please get out. Dang it. D oops. I jumped a little bit too early there. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and now we're all filled up. We can kill this guy forever, baby. Here we go. Watch out a little bit more. He will throw his beam at us, and then we can basically hit him with our nice charge attack. Come on, please. No? What? All right, well, I guess he's throwing down some more mana for us. Thank you very much for that, bro. And then we can kill him a little bit, please. No, I guess not. Well, I guess it depends on how much we can actually hurt him because apparently it's it's only after like a few attacks or something. Oh, watch out, please. Thanks very, very much for that. Now let's hit him again. Please, or not. All right, let's wait for the mono to come down again. And we can hit him, please. No, I guess not. Well, screw you, bro. We're gonna die today, is he? Yes, he is. One more hit to go and then he'll have two more after that. All right, there we go. And he's almost dead. Just leave it up. But his beam will try to kill us, but it doesn't work at all because we can just jump on his ice for some reason. Come on. Yes, we did it. Very good. Two more attacks to go, baby. Are you okay? Oh, no. He's flying up into the sky. <gasps> he's a fairy. Oh, whoa, frick. And, oh, we have to jump on him, I think. Yeah, I, th I think we have to jump uh, like above the fairy, I think. All right, there we go. Come on, like so. And then we can fall down on him, right? What the frick? Yeah, see, like so. Very nice. Oh, frick, watch out. Fall up again. And then we can fall down, right? 
Watch out. Please don't die. Dang it. Alright, we need some kind of thing to get... Okay, break these. We can get some more of our stuff. Alright, watch out for the beams again. The beamos are here. Whoa, I just ran right into that. Are you, are you kidding me? Yes, you are. Alright, climb up again. And we're almost done. Alright. Here we go. Whoa, seriously, man? So if you run into them when you are that state, it'll actually hurt you even more. Alright, there we go. Watch out again. And climb up. Frick. Watch out. Please go. No, dang it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We got it. Here it comes again. Watch out. And we did it. Very good. So we just gotta come around again. And why is the dragon like a freaking, uh, is a freaking fairy now? I don't understand that. Yeah, come on. What the frick? Seriously? Why does it have so many? Oh, I don't understand this at all. It has so much HP with this chick. All right, come on. Really? Very good. Now wait here. Climb up again. Then we can fall down. And kill it! Very good! One more attack to go, and this chick is gone ski. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> I don't understand this, man. Come on. There we go, and then we climb up again. We can fall down. A an attack? Come on, please. No? Okay. That stinks. Watch out. Very good. And then we can climb up again. Watch out for the little icicle man. Come on, attack him! Seriously? Good. Alright, get this little statue here. Hurry. Very nice. We only have half of a heart left, dude. This is gonna be bad. Alright. And we did it, everybody! Very nice! This chick is no more! And we unlock the next toad of World 6! We saved them to your dance, Miss Peach. <sighs> Where did I come from? Hmm. Oh, I saw Grandpa here, and... Hmm. That spell turned me into this, and I don't remember. Listen, I heard of an oddly shaped boy in this land. Of course you did there, boy. It's me. Ha <laughs> ha, baby. Woohoo! Oh no, Barry is going to the evil man. No, yes, sir. Yes, boss. No, no, get me out of here. And they walked away forever with never coming back and Perry is left on the ground for no reason oh I did it what a klutz oh who's that guy over there is this like the same story but like added on to it oh someone's coming hey over here help me help old man save me what you want to sell me no get me out of here frick dude <gasps> it's a toad traveling merchant. Hi, the umbrella bag picked it up, but no one wants it. Something about it. It's called. I want it. It's free. Wow, you're selling it for free, dude? Wow, a kind of old man picked me up. He's mushroomy. Yep, he is mushroomly cool, dude. Look, he has a face now. At this rate, we can get away and I can get home. I guess so, there, Perry. Ugh, I've got to get to my grandpa's place right now, but before I do, we've got to beat our enemies. I've got to return to my true self. Enough talking, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Once you've rested a bit, we've got enemies to fight. Alright, so guys, in the next episode, we will take on Giddy Sky. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.